Hey guys, Steve Colin here, back out with another video. Today, I bring you another one. We're actually doing another weekly story. This one's about the final hunt for Ted Bundy. As I've, um, I think I've said this before, but he was like this, there's, um, there are conversations, there is conversations on Netflix where he was interviewed by this person and I haven't watched any of them. <laughs> I was watching the first episode, but I stopped watching it. I don't know why. But anyway, on to the story. Part 1 of 5. The Daring Escape of Theodore Robert Bundy, Esquire. The Scene. The, Pitten, the Pitkin Country Courthouse in Aspen, Colorado on June 7th, 1977. The Plot. A plea, the plea, <laughs> the preliminary hearing for the murder of Carolyn Campbell. Hopefully, I'm saying these names and stuff right. The villain, Ted Bundy, defendant, and by his own request, his own defense attorney. Bundy had elected to represent himself, which meant that he didn't have to wear the re request shackles or handcuffs they when he appeared in the courtroom hopefully i said that right i'll put it down in the description so you guys can like figure out what's how to say and stuff during a recess he asked that he be allowed to visit the library to do further research for his defense there behind the cover of a bookcase bunny opened a window and jumped out then with a sprained ankle he ran well, you can't say that he was dumb. I mean, he like, he wasn't, obviously he wasn't guarded. Well, if he was, they weren't very close by. So he used that to his advantage to escape. He also didn't have shackles, which could draw attention. And I mean, running on a sprained ankle isn't that good, but I don't know, he's not, he doesn't seem very dumb, but he's also not very bright either because he sprained his ankle. That can wear him down in the end. I'm actually curious how this story turns out. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, and fun funkiness. <laughs> Bye guys.